Hello guys, and welcome to another episode of the Nintendo 64 Nintendo Switch Online Showcase. And today, it's going to be a little different, because I'm going to actually show both the selections on both the US version or North American version of the app, and then I'll show the Japanese version of the app because there's actually different games that were released on each, and you can actually access the Japanese Nintendo 64 Nintendo Switch Online if you have a Japanese Nintendo account, and you can actually play it on like any region of Nintendo account, which is pretty cool. But for the US account here, um, we're first going to look at Pokemon Puzzle League, and I actually haven't played this game before. I have played um, Panel Day Pawn on the SNES. So basically, this is kind of... Basically kind of in that same series. Because they actually have, um, like, different puzzle leagues for different um, series and everything. But Pokemon Puzzle League is definitely the most well-known. Oh, that's a cool cutscene. I'm so proud of you, Ash. Being selected for this event is such an honor. Well, there's no time to explain everything. You must hurry. Well, let's go. Wait! Don't forget to come and see me in my office at Puzzle League Village. Yeah. Did you hear me, Ash? Eager to prove themselves in this new type of book. So I'm gonna skip that, but that's pretty cool. So um, let's go to One Player Stadium here. I think I'll just do a guest. We'll just do easy for now. Do it. We'll do a Squirtle. Hey. So I have played Panel Day Pond before, so I kind of know what I'm doing here. So basically, you kind of flip them, and it's actually pretty fun. You kind of have to have like a row of three, and you can kind of move them in different ways like this. Okay, this is one of the Nintendo 64 games that uses the D-pad, so... Yeah, so this is definitely pretty fun overall. I definitely like Panel Day Pond on the SNES, so this is definitely pretty fun. Keep on okay. Can do one on the next row here. This is definitely pretty fun overall. Definitely like a more, um, like, it definitely has more content than like the SNES panel day pawn. Like there's definitely more things to do here. So it's nice to have this too, more puzzle league slash panel day pawn. But anyways, let's move on to the next games here, which are actually on the Japanese Nintendo 64 Nintendo Switch Online app. Okay, so now I'm on the Japanese version of the app, 
And yes, this is completely playable on like a North American, or if you have a European account, this would also work. But I really like that the Switch is region free, so you're actually able to do this. But basically, um, Custom Robo and Custom Robo V2 are on the Nintendo 64 um, version of the app and everything. It would be nice if there was like a translation and everything. Um, it is a little disappointing that like only Japan got them and they didn't really translate a US version at all like they did with Sin and Punishment on the Wii. But now we know that Nintendo really doesn't want to put as much effort into things as they did during the Wii era when it comes to like ports and stuff like that like most of the time. So it is a little disappointing, but it is nice that they're at least playable on here. So let's go ahead and check them out on here. And it's nice since the Switch is actually region free, you're actually able to play these. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So obviously it's in Japanese, you can't really, um... Like, you can't really read anything, but it, it still is cool to, like, check it out on here. I kind of like the style of this game. It looks pretty cool. But I haven't played um, any of the custom Robo games before. Apparently, it's like an action RPG. So, I... I heard there is like a fan translated version of this game, so I might check that out sometime. And then there is the game on GameCube. I think that's... I'm not sure. I think that is a different game. I'm not sure. I'm not really familiar with this series that much. But it's cool that they did add it to Nintendo Switch Online. If you really wanted to, you could use it. You could technically use a guide to play this game. Like, if you wanted to play it in Japanese. There, yeah, there is quite a bit of dialogue here, but I, I do like the graphical style and everything. I think this looks pretty cool. But yeah, anyway, I'm not going to really get into the, much of the gameplay here, but I think it is cool that it is playable and everything, and then here is V2. Okay, those are just options there. Like, I can, all I have to do is just put random stuff on there, because obviously I don't know Japanese, so... Okay, I guess that option is locked there. Okay, so it's basically pretty similar, but I'm sure there are, like... They're like two different games and everything, and so there are some differences. Um, but anyways, I think that's pretty cool that those games are on there. And um, also, before I did check out with Pokemon Puzzle League, I mean, that game is fully playable in English, obviously. So that's probably the recommended option. But if you want to check these out, if you're like a little curious and you want to check out the Japanese selection, 
you're definitely able to as long as you have like a Japanese account which is free to make and everything. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more. And make sure to check out my Discord server and Twitter if you want to. Goodbye.